Hi, my name is James Dawson. I'm the Category Director for Duty Gear for Safari Land. Today I'm going to talk about a few new products, namely uh, commercial products, tactical products, and law enforcement products. What I'm talking about is the 1052. A problem with a lot of shoulder holsters is the difficulty um, that is entailed with bringing it on, that put it, putting it on and taking it back off. The easy thing about this is what we call our lightweight or minimalist design. Around one shoulder, then around the others, and that completes it. Uses the ALS holster, locks onto the cylinder, one hand release, and one hand reholster. Uh, from our Bianchi side of products, it's a new pocket holster. This is our 152. This is a unique product in that it's designed primarily as all pocket holsters should be, to never come out of the pocket. It has dual pocket hooks. If you can't it forward or backwards, it'll catch onto the pocket and not come out. It's also a rough side out exterior, full grain leather interior, so it's a nice smooth draw and it uh, maintains a stickiness to the in, uh, inside of your pocket. The most unique about it is what we call a vertical assist pad. This is a great reference point for the thumb. Put, place your thumb on it, press it down, and it will guarantee that the holster won't be coming out of your pocket. Third, we have several new holsters, um, more traditional style Bianchi holsters. This is our model 58 PI. This is for a small little back. This is something that we haven't done in the past for Bianchi, but we're now focusing on um, due to market demands. We have a 30 degree cant, a 16 degree cant for rear hip. We also have a version, um, the model 56 Serpent, that has a thumb snap on the top. Something very unique, and um, I've never actually seen anything like this. It's what we call our 101 fold away. Normally, I would have a black version of this. I have a brown one so you can see it better on the camera. But The first fit takes a little bit of time, but once it gets fit, it molds itself to the gun. The trigger guard locks in right here, and you got a holster. It's a nice straight up draw. It actually uses the exterior of your belt to be the interior of the holster. The nice thing about it, when you're done using the weapon at hand, it simply folds down onto the belt. Moving into the law enforcement products, this is our new 6390 holster. This is really an updated, um, updated version of our 6320 holster from previous years. Just like the 6320, it's a straight up draw with level one retention. It uses the ALS lever. It's as easy as this. This is a light model right here. You can see that it retains retention whether you have a light on it or not. The nice thing about this holster is, um, and how it's different than a 6320, is that we've redesigned it so you can use an optional ALS guard on the ALS lever to provide an extra level of security. This makes it a level two holster. So now it'll add a zero time to the draw, straight out of the holster, just like this, while still providing a level two retention. This is a product we actually had from last year, our DFA, our drop flex adapter. In an update to this, this one locks up to the belt, as you can see. An update to this is our UFA, our universal flex adapter. This maintains all the positive traits of the DFA that it holds the um, holds your thigh rig and holster below any sort of body armor, whether it be rifle plate or soft armor. But you still have the accessory points to mount um, accessories as well as your holster. This does all of that, plus it adds a valuable component. Of you can actually put any sort of mounting point that you wish on the top of this. By doing that, you do something like this. You can attach a paddle directly to this. This way, you don't really even need a belt to wear this. When you're done with your mission, you can unsnap this, wrap it from your leg, take it out, and you're done with it. You can also use it with something like a 745 BL belt clip, our uh, ELS 34-4, our QLS 19-4, uh, or any one of our other mounting accessories, such as the belt side.